Hey guys, Kenny here. I am going to show you what you need to do to create your own RO system. So uh, here we go. This is what it looks like when it's all finished and assembled. And what I'll do is when I originally installed this, I took a couple pictures and most likely you'll see them on the side of the screen, kind of going step by step into what you may need. And um, honestly guys, it's not very difficult, but to be fair, I don't feel like disassembling everything to show somebody, so I'll try to sum it up so I don't need to do that. The way I look at it, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But um, I will try to be as detailed as I can, and um, hopefully that'll, that'll help you out and uh, get a better understanding, because a lot of the times if I'm typing something or you're reading something, I'm more of a visual guy. If I can see it, then I understand it a little better. So, I'm going to give it a shot here. Okay, so, when you receive the RO housing, it comes pretty much just like this, except for the tops here. This is just duct tape. Uh, they have little holders at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, they keep it from resting on the ground. Anyway, so when this comes to your door shipped, these here are not in, um, installed. So all you have pretty much is a cap on the top and there's also one at the bottom there. I'll show it to you later. And with each cap, there's a little O-ring that you put to keep the pressure in and uh, to stop leaks and whatnot. And um, there's a picture I have which shows this and all you have to do literally is there's, it's color coded. When you take this out or say if you have this in your hand and there should be a picture at some point um, everything's very simple to install, so let me just kind of break this down for you. Okay, first and foremost, when you get this unit, you're also going to have a RO membrane, and I should have a picture up that explains what that looks like, and that's what you receive when it comes to your door. Now, when you install the membrane, you just simply slide it into an end, and there is one important thing. On these membranes, they have a little black O-ring on the bottom of them. And what I've, at least what I've learned is the end that has the black ring or the silicone ring, that always goes into your back end, which would be your wastewater, which is what all this is here. So you insert the RO filter in here. Obviously, this cap's not here and all these fittings aren't. And you just slide it in. And obviously, you want to start your, here, let me show you real quick, is if this is your wastewater side, so this would be your bottom of your, DR, I'm sorry, your RO tank. So, you slide the membrane in from there, it'll go into here. You want to put this cap on first. So, it's simple guys, it's literally just pushing it on and uh, using an O-ring just so water won't leak. And you want to get a good fit. Sometimes you might need a little uh, a rubber mallet. I didn't. Honestly, guys, this went in very easily for me. Um, keep in mind, these you have to put on. There's a little uh, ring here, and it's pretty simple. You just connect them together and through the bolt. But anyway, um, so once you have the black caps on, which is your inlet and your outlet, you're going to want to... Take your brackets here, and I think there's, let's see, one and two bolts, and there's two nuts there. Obviously, I don't think I need to explain how you put this on. I mean, it, you kind of see that they can only go one way. So you'll tighten this with, I believe it's a 14 millimeter wrench, and obviously, you know, you're going to need one on each as you're tightening it. And um, you just want to get it nice and snug because this is pressurized, so you don't want any leaks or anything else like that. So then, you would do the same process on this end. Obviously, I would do this end first because this is your bottom end. And uh, same process, these two rings come apart. They're interconnected by this nut and bolt here. There are two of them total. So you have four nuts and bolts that you need to tighten. So after that, and uh, guys, we're almost done, by the way. So then, 
What you'll need is, and I'll show you a picture of what this looks like when you get it from the factory. It has um, holes in here and all you need to do so you'll see that when you install these black caps they have pre-drilled slots and um, the next step is going to your local hardware store or ordering it online you're gonna need a 3 4 inch national pipe thread to 3 4 inch garden hose thread for this one here and this is your pure water outlet. So this is where your water, your pure water is going to come out of. And then on this end, this is your intake. So also 3 4 inch NPT to 3 4 inch garden hose thread. And then at the end here, I added a female to female regular faucet connector. So this is where I'm going to be feeding the water from your carbon filter and it goes directly into here. Okay, so you have your inlet taken care of and by the way with any kind of fitting like this when you're dealing with water you always want to get a thread sealant or painters tape or plumbers tape rather I'm sorry and then always wrap it around because you won't have any leaks then. And then so this is your wastewater, okay? I bought a 3 4 inch, just a regular uh, faucet here that you would see at the side of your house. I like these a little bit better because you can adjust the amount of wastewater that comes out of here. So you can get the right mix and sometimes you, you, know, you can have more pressure. And then let me show you something important here. You see this right here? This is a half inch um, NPT, which is National Pipe Thread, plug. This goes in the center of this thing. I don't really know why, but obviously it has something to do with the pressure. So remember, you have to buy a half inch plug. And this is 3 4 inch, okay? Everything here can be bought at any hardware store or online, no problem. As with the other side, you wanna put the plumber's tape on all the connections here. And simply guys, you just turn it. If you want a crescent wrench, just to really get a good turn on it. And guys, that's about it. Now I'll show you, I'll show you a couple pictures, um, kind of maybe explaining it a little bit better than how I'm laying it out, but that's about as detailed as it is to set this up. So, okay, cool. Well, it's set up, now what?